Hello everyone. I am going to be doing a um, an oil change on my daughter's 2008 Yaris tonight. And uh, we need to do a little bit of um, love, give a little bit of love to this car because unfortunately it, um, it's been sitting around and not getting driven a whole lot this last year because her previous, last couple of years, previous house she didn't have a good parking situation and uh, never wanted to move it so it sat on the street and <clears throat> so we're going to be doing some uh, giving it some extra attention let's put it that way so first thing we're going to do is uh, change the oil going to go through um, and do some other things too I, I want to change the gear oil I want to change the coolant on it um, brake fluid, just kind of go through and change all the fluids on it. Um, we just put a new battery in it because the battery had gone dead um, from just sitting there. And so she's got a new battery, just got brand new tires on it. So we're getting it whipped back into shape and uh, she's been working on cleaning the inside. So it's just the whole thing's going to get some attention that it sadly uh, needs, desperately needs. So tonight, quick oil change while she is at a concert, and uh, I'm going to knock this out for her while she's doing that. So let's go ahead and get started. Thanks for joining me tonight, and uh, if you can, please like, subscribe, share, comment. I really do love to hear the comments from you guys, uh, anything that you have to say and stuff. You know, I, I do this uh, for fun and to have... Uh, <clears throat> to have fun with people and to share and show how to do do stuff and uh, and whatnot. So I I like to <clears throat> hear things and questions and comments and I try to answer everybody. So um, if you uh, if you comment, I will will definitely try to reach out and answer back. So with that, let's get going. Have our oil, five W thirty, ultra platinum pins oil. Got a filter. The F1, which is the taller one, it can, you can also use the shorter N1. Um, I really like this. I've been using this for years. It's a, a fantastic um, oil wrench. So for the filter, if you have to use one to get it off, um, it fits really well. It's really well constructed. Um, so gaskets so I always replace the the gasket for the oil drain plug and uh, and then 14 millimeter wrench for taking off the oil drain plug you can also use a socket and then I have a wrench and extension I can never remember what cars need an extension for said oil filter wrench so some some cars do some cars don't so here you can see we've got our new battery all in there I do need to pick up some um, of the washers for it to slap under there and she's got her new rubber so that is good outside needs some attention and that's gonna get it but for now let's take care of what's inside of here. So let's get to draining the old oil. One thing to mention before you start draining the oil, always loosen this, the oil cap so that air can come in and as the oil passes and drains out. So in this car, this is nice. We got the drain plug right here. And here's our filter. This one's nice because it's actually inverted. So I'll get the oil draining out of this sucker real quick here.
And this is why it's handy to have the extension. I always grab it in case I need it. Uh. Just to get it started here. Once it starts dripping like that, once I start turning it and it starts to drip, I usually try to let some of the some of that oil drip out real quick. And once it stops, I just drop it down and invert it. So it empties into the oil. Oil pan that you got there, and there we go. One of the things I absolutely love about Toyota filters is they come with the cellophane wrap on them, but they're already lubricated. So I always take my rag though, and I always wipe the surface. If you're using aftermarket filters, especially, make sure that. You don't leave the old oil filter on your housing. So make sure that it comes off with your oil filter. You don't want to stack them because you're going to have a leak. So, oops. But before I do that, I always fill my oil filters. So I will do that real quick. Okay, so back with my oil filter. I always pre-fill oil filters. If they're inverted like this, I'll fill them completely. And if they're if they're a horizontal one, then I'll fill them halfway. But I like to get the oil in there just because you build pressure oil pressure pretty much instantly then there we go okay new oil filter is on the old there we go the old oil drain gasket came off with it a lot of times they'll stick to it and if it does make sure you pop it off um, some people will reuse these and um, you probably can that's it's probably not going to hurt anything. Um, I tend to be in the habit of always using a new one just because they're cheap. So why not use a new one? This guy could drip here forever. But I'll go ahead and spin this on. There we go. Got rich. Do not over tighten this. Let the gasket do the work. Just make sure it's firm. There we go. And we are done underneath the car here, other than checking for leaks after we put the oil in and start it up. Used oil pan out of the way. Now let's just fill it up with oil. The oil's in, our startup, and oil pressure was virtually instantaneous by filling that oil filter. So, always fill your filter, guys. Nothing dripping there. Nothing dripping on the oil filter. So we are good to go. So thanks for uh, thanks for coming along, and uh, until next time, guys. We'll see you down the road.